Hey everyone, I learned on the Midrash what the, ex what the exactly the goal is of the final war in Gog and Magog. What exactly is the strategy? I think is a better statement I should say. Now the thing is, we know in history, everyone tries to one-up the guy before him. Like, uh, let's say with the, with the presidents, let's say with, with Bush and Jr. and Sr. Bush Jr., he tried to beat his father with the whole Iraq situation. Now the thing is, in the Torah and Judaism, the, the enemy always wants to outdo the other guy in destroying the Jews. Now the first person to, destroy, to want to destroy the, the Jews was Asaph. It was a twin brother of Jacob. Now the thing is, Asaph, or Esau, depending on how you pronounce it, he was so jealous of Jacob and he just hated him that he wanted to kill him and leave his children alive. He didn't care about his kids. So, and this is in Genesis 33. And then the next guy to want to kill the Jews, it was Pharaoh of Egypt. He looked back at Asaph and he was just like, Asaph was an idiot. He wanted to kill only the father. What's the point in doing that? Let's kill all the males and leave the girls. So that's in Exodus, Exodus chapter 1, line 22. He says, every boy that is born, you must throw into the Nile, but let every girl live. And then the next guy to want to attack the Jews was Haman. Now, Haman, I don't know if you know the story, but this is, he was the one of the generals under King Ashpharos. And he gave a statement. He says, if it pleases the king, let a decree be issued to destroy them, and I will put 10,000 pounds, which 10,000 pounds is just a measurement of silver, which is, you know, some type of currency, and the royal treasure for the men who carry out this business. So basically, Haman looked back at Pharaoh and said, Pharaoh was an idiot. He should have killed both men and women, which I want to do. And, of course, they were all unsuccessful. Now, the next guy on the list, the what people refer to as, I guess, you know, as you could say, the Satan, or his form in the human flesh to come down. He didn't look back at, at Haman and say, you know what, that guy was an idiot. He just tried to kill the males and the females, but you know what, I'm going to try to kill the males and the females, but also try to destroy their God at the same time. I'm going to try to disprove God in every way. This way people will have no backbone to fall upon and just go with their humanistic nature, their animalistic desires. So there's also going to be, according to the prophecy, there's going to be a big confrontation. Just like what happened with Elijah, if you, if you know the story with Elijah, he was tested by the false prophets. Uh, with a sacrifice. So the thing is, only Elijah's sacrifice went up directly in a flame, a uh, straight flame, and the others, false prophets, never went through. Now, according to prophecy, uh, they said in the Midrash that, the, that there's going to be a huge confrontation between, I guess, the Satan or the Satan's son against the Jews, and they're going to do some type of proof, some type of some type of uh, sacrifice, and they're going to show how the Jews did not work, their, their sacrifice at all, and then and then that's it, so many Jews are going to fall and only the ones with true umana are going to stay umana basically means uh, there's a lot of meanings of it basic one is 100% faith and trust and knowledge in, in the Lord so basically that exactly that's what I learned that the the final battle the strategy of the of the next person who's going to try to attack the Jews is going to try to kill off not really the men and the females but just their God first he's going to try to show all types of disproofs and everything to make people fall out of the path of following mitzvahs and learning Torah and things of that nature. So I hope you learned from this. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thank you.